Hey guys, this is Tyler with Anderson Realty. I don't know about you, but for me, sitting inside every day and uh, social distancing is not really my forte. So I'm going a little stir crazy. However, luckily it's been pretty busy for us here at Anderson Realty during this crazy time. And I wanted to just reach out to all of you and give you some insight as to what's happening in the market right now. Um, you know, amid this coronavirus uh, epidemic and all the things that ha it's been affecting um, for us and for our buyers and sellers, as well as what we've just been hearing in the market too from our other fellow agents and lenders too. So uh, something that I wanna point out is I pulled up in the NIFAR, our Northeast Florida MLS today, and I pulled some statistics to kind of see, you know, what, what's been happening this, this past month versus the past March of last year. Uh, and I found some kind of interesting points. Um, one thing is is that our listings, the new the amount of new listings that we have coming on the market is about a half a percent higher than what it was last year. So half a percent might not seem like a lot, and it's not a ton, um, but the the benefit to that to knowing that is people are still listing their homes. It's actually the same amount of, if not a little bit more than they were last year at this time. So that's a great thing, especially for buyers. Um, and the reason why that is is because inventory is still actually really low right now. Uh, we have you know, still more buyers than we do people listing their homes. And um, it's still very much a, so a seller's market. So it's definitely a good time to sell if you are considering. Two other things that I definitely like to point out are the fact that we, do, we are seeing a little bit of a buyer resistance or, you know, a, f a few amount of buyers that are out there in the market looking. Um, doesn't mean that there's still not plenty out there, but the amount of homes under contract compared to last year is down about five and a half percent. So that's, Definitely something to take into consideration, um, and a lot of that is provoked by fear, as well as uh, you know some lenders are having having higher interest rates right now, or they're having changes in uh, government restrictions on loans or financing. So it's definitely something to be aware of as well. And then the other interesting fact is that there's 14% less homes on the market today than there were last year. So that's a huge amount of uh, drop in inventory overall, which what that means is it's, that's a huge thing. That's a, probably a better thing in the seller's world because now that means that there's, there's more opportunity to get your home on the market and there's more competition out there for your home. Um, even though there are few buyers out there, it's still a very interesting statistic that we can see from this year over last year. And, you know, a lot of people have been asking us, especially sellers have been asking like, you know, do you think today, do you think today's gonna be a good day to put my house in the market? Or do you think it's a good time to put my list in my house? The answer is, is not always yes, but the answer is, you know, first of all, what's your motivation for why you're selling? And second of all, there are still plenty of buyers that are out there looking to purchase homes. You know, there's people that are moving, they're, they're getting a job change, they're moving closer to family, it's for educational reasons, whatever it could be, there's always people that are gonna be buying and that are gonna be selling real estate. And so the answer could be yes for you, for sure. And for all of our sellers, you know, it has been. And we've, we've, uh, we've seen multiple homes of ours go up on the market this last couple of weeks and they've already been under contract and are already gonna be closing this month, which is great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our Market in 4 Minutes Coronavirus Edition, Volume 1. We look forward to providing some more information to you guys next week as well. Uh, follow us on YouTube and feel free to give us a call or an email if, we ha if you have any questions about the market or how it's affecting the value of your home.